Hi Cancer, my what a sign Cancer, what is up and what is good with y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel, thank you guys so much for tuning in and clicking on this video guys, so as I was pre-shuffling your cards, okay, I had got the message that, you know, you guys were in a loving, caring, um, soulmate, energetic uh, type of relationship where you guys, um, there was mutual love, attraction, you know, uh, feelings there, a soul tie, a bond. But I feel like your spirit guides had to move you guys away from that connection. So we're going to get into this energy and see what's going on here. Keep in mind this is for the collective. Take whatever resonates with you and lead the rest for another cancer. This is going to be for December 2022 for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Cancer, there's too many fights between you and this person. Okay, you and this person have a lot of arguments here. I feel like this person, they come in and start arguing with you. Every time you try to talk to them, they just start creating a bunch of drama. You know, and I feel like there's a lot of tension between the two of you. Tell me a little bit more about what's going on between Cancer and their partner. Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors. <sighs> yeah, it says options. It says difficult decision, exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong. Hmm. So I feel like you have some options coming towards you. Okay, whether this be in love or whatever aspect, apply it where it needs to be. But I feel like you guys have your options open, okay? Because I feel like you're tired of this person here. But you just have a fear. You have a big fear of choosing the wrong one. Okay. And I feel like there was a lot of fights between you two because this person had their options open. They were exploring possibilities with other people, entertaining other people. You know, treating you as an option. And I feel like you're being faced with a very difficult decision. Tell me more for cancer. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Thank you. I feel like this person, uh, cancer, that you're connected to is a karmic. It says, full of turbulence, past life, unresolved issues. This is an unsustainable relationship. There are issues from the past that's unresolved between the two of you. And I feel like the connection has been full of turbulence, whether you two are together or in separation. I feel like you ghosted this person. It says, abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication. So right now, you two are not talking. There's no closure here. I feel like both of you need closure or you're needing closure. But it just came to an abrupt ending. It was out of nowhere. Okay. Hmm. I feel like you guys are focused on your abundance. Okay. It says financial blessings, money, healthy perspective, financial independence. So you are seeking financial independence or you are already financially independent. I do see some financial blessings coming in for you as well. Okay. But you're showing up very abundant right now. What else? What else do you have for cancer? Or you will be abundant. I feel like you guys have been depressed. It says prolonged grief. Hopelessness, yeah. You've been feeling victimized. This person did you wrong. You feel hopeless. Like you have no hope. You may be giving up on love. You may have been grieving uh, for a very long, long time. Being very depressed. Okay? Because I feel like this person that you're connected to may be um, focusing on another person. Okay? This is a wife here. Um, so the person that you're connected to could be married or they may live with someone it says they have chosen no interference yet if there is someone else that they're dealing with right now 
okay and i feel like a lot of you guys have divorced this person or you're thinking about either terminating a marriage here i feel like this person is focused on their person because of the finances they feel like if they separate or they divorce divorce their person that this separation will be costly they'll lose some money if you're not connected to someone who is married I feel like this is a very complicated relationship for you two. Okay, but I feel like they can't escape the connection. Okay? And for some of you, this person just keeps coming back around because I feel like you're all around them. You're sending them sexual energy or emotional energy just to fuck with them for some of you. Your love haunts them. So the love you gave to them, this person that they are focused on because of the finances, okay, they could be using this person or whatever to have you, but I feel like they're not giving them the love that you gave to them. Not even half that, okay? That doesn't even compare to you, okay? They may have gotten this person pregnant. They may have a, ch a child with this person, children with this person. You may be pregnant. You may have children with this person. This may be this person's baby mama or baby daddy that they live with, okay? They may stay with them. But I do see that you're giving birth to something here, uh, Cancer, okay? And look at this. Now look at this. What? What? <laughs> Can somebody come and look at this? This person is coming back around. <laughs> They're like, no, I can't escape you. There's unfinished business. Yeah, and this person is still, I feel like they're going to try to hit you with the same bullshit. They're still in their player energy, playing the field, refusing to commit. You're realizing this person will never choose you. And I feel like they're even being a player to this person here. Because they're wanting to reconcile with you. So now it's going to turn into a whole third party situation. If that was the case. If that was to happen. Mm -mm. This person. They broke too many promises. They misled you. They broke the trust. They did you wrong. They weren't there when you needed them. But y'all still have feelings for each other. I feel like. For some of you. You're not seeing it for what it is. It's very hard for some of you to see it for what it is. And I'm talking about as far as this person. Because I feel like even though they're a player, you know, you still try to compromise with them. But they're two-faced it. Straight up. They hide their feelings, you know. This is somebody that's emotionally blocked. Emotionally closed off and blocked off. I feel like there's some lessons here that need to be learned in love. Or you're learning them. I feel like you guys need to shift your perspective about this person. About connections. Stop lying to yourself. Because you deserve way more than this. Focus on raising your vibration. A lot of you already are raising your vibration. You're listening to mantras, meditating, you know, tapping in, taking spiritual baths, listening to music, doing things that make you happy. Okay. Do things that make you happy and protect your energy. Because this person is going to try to put some spell work on you. Cast a love spell to try to attract you back in, to draw you back in, or manipulate the outcome. They may try to come in and manipulate you to make your um to cloud your judgment <clears throat> or your discernment or to question your intuition. Let's check out the tarot, see what the tarot has to say. I already shuffled, pre-shuffled this and cut it. Five of Swords. This person's going to come back around. Very manipulative. Okay, all about drama and conflict with you. This person is manipulative. Very deceptive. A liar. This person is a loser. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Libra or Aquarius. 
Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> You guys are not talking or hardly talking, but you're still waiting for them to, to reach out to you, communicate with you, or this is what they're waiting for. One of y'all is waiting to see what the other person do, but I feel like something you've been waiting for for a while is coming in for you, okay? But you have to turn your back on this person. I feel like you're paying them no damn mind. I feel like when they come in with this drama, this arguing, fussing, you know, being jealous and envious and, and, and all of that, you just like, whatever. You're like turning your back because you're becoming more emotionally stable or this is where you're going to be. This is the energy you're going to be in, okay, in the month of December. I feel like... Even if you guys were waiting for this person to come back around, because maybe for some of you, they're at a distance from you, okay? This person doesn't wear their heart on their sleeves here, okay? They tend to, with the King of Cups, this could be uh, the parent of your child, like a baby daddy. This could be a baby mama too. But I feel like this person is not emotionally open, you know, uh, emotionally expressive like you want them to be this king of cups tends to wear a mask in, 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 in connections okay because this this king of cups is afraid of being hurt or you know they've been through really low vibe shit in their past really toxic relationships you know that was very draining and abusive oh this is you this person may have been abusive to you a bully Try to bully your emotions, or bully bully you emotionally, manipulate you emotionally. This person with the devil, for some of you, this person is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else. They're a liar, they're a cheater, they're very toxic. They have a sex addiction or addiction to drugs, alcohol, okay? Or just some low vibrational ass, toxic ass energy. And they're obsessed with you, with the devil. This person is, they want you tied, chained, and bound to them. You see how the chains on them are so loose? They can get out. They can get loose. They can free themselves, but they're not doing it. They may be feeling restricted. Well, this is you. Feeling like it's hard to break free from this person. Because they're being chained to the devil. You feel like this person is the devil. Like you have emotions for the devil. That's how you feel. That's how you see them. As the devil himself. Capricorn energy. I feel like you had to cut this person off, Queen of Swords, and you were not playing. You were very much dead ass. You had to come to a point in your life where you said, you know what? Fuck all of this. I'm cutting off people, places, and things that no longer serve my highest good. I'm tired. I know what I want in my life. And I know what I don't want. Or you need to be very clear with the universe about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, look, you're tired. <laughs> you're drained. This speaks of fatigue. Feeling overwhelmed. You may be doing a lot at your house. Or you may have just been doing a lot for this person. Taking on too much. You know, I feel like this was a burden. You know, this person... This person came into the connection with the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They may have fire in their chart. They don't have to be a fire sign. But they came into the connection with a lot of baggage from their past, past connections. Um, you know, stuff from their childhood that they're still carrying. And I feel like these burdens are burdens from other people. Burdens that they put onto you, their burdens. You know, now I feel like you're carrying these burdens or you've been carrying these burdens for a very long time and you're cutting it off because you're tired of this shit. Okay? Look, yeah, you're feeling smugged by this person. This person is always like smothering you when they're around you. Okay? But I feel like you, you guys, you're like single or in, in some sort of singlehood energy, but you're. 
I, I do see you being happy and content here. And I do see wishes coming true for you here. But you're tired. Because you saw this person as, as your wish fulfillment. And you may still have emotions because you're an empath. And for empaths, they have so much emotion. And that's why narcissists know this. Or well, toxic people in particular. They know they can smell the empathy on you. And they come and try to attack you. Some people don't do that. Everybody's not a toxic, narcissistic person. Not everybody has a mental issue. This person may, with the devil showing up, mental instability or something going on in their mental headspace. It's like the way their thought process is, the way they process things, the way they think. It's just toxic. It's low vibe. It's, it's jacked up. <laughs> I feel like you guys went through a very nasty divorce or a very toxic divorce or, you know, it was very, um, it was just very low vibe. The Hierophant in the reverse. This person is not traditional. Okay. I feel like they worry about what other people think about them, think about the connection. This is Taurus energy. doesn't have to be a Taurus. But I feel like um, the Hierophant in reverse can mean a lot of things. But I'm just going to pull the basics because this is a love reading. I'm not, I'm not going to go into religion and education. Because this person could be telling you, oh, they're into religion. They go to church. But they're not into that like you think they are. They're fake church going, fake spiritualists. They get bad advice and they give bad advice. They just no good. Or the people that they entertain give them bad advice on their relationships, on their, you know, if this person is feeling emotional and they want to speak to someone about it, they may get bad advice from their friends, their family members about you it's not even about about them they get bad advice from their family and friends about you and these people or this other person for some of y'all y'all know who their other person is and for some of y'all they don't even know you <sighs> the moon there's a lot of there's a lot going on that you don't know about i feel like this person didn't want to get married or they, they, they have commitment phobia. They're, they fear commitment, you know, and they hide that. They have a lot of fear of commitment. They don't commit to nothing, really. <laughs> With the devil, the devil showing up, they don't commit to nothing. They have a very hard time committing to stuff. And I feel like this person has... A very hard time fighting their demons and cutting their demons off. They're struggling to do this. This person that you're involved with um, may have been traveling, you know, for therapy or some sort of like, uh, yeah, maybe they're seeing a therapist. They're being toxic to the therapist. The therapist feel like your person is extremely, to <laughs> extremely toxic. I feel like the therapist had to stop your person. Like, hold on, wait a minute. I feel like there's a lot being hidden here. There's a lot of things that your person is not telling you that they're going through. There's a lot that you're not telling your person that you're going through. I feel like you're hiding your feelings. I feel like this person is hiding their feelings now. I feel like your feelings for them have not changed. Even though you can't stand this person and you would like to hate their ass. You still have emotion for them. They want to talk to you. Hmm. <laughs> I see you guys traveling. You may be uh, communicating, with, communicating with this person online or that's the only way you speak to them. You may be secretly talking to them. 
I don't feel like this person is committed to this other person. Even if they're married to them, or if they just live with them and play house and they got kids, if they're a long-term girlfriend and they, an enabler, a placeholder, a seat warmer, okay, they're not interested in marrying this person, period, for some of you. Some of you, you are connected to someone who is married, and for some of you, you're not. I'm telling you, it could be some witchcraft, hoodoo, voodoo, something going on. I feel like this person with their tactics that they pull on you, okay, whether they get away with this shit or not, they pretty much... Hold on a second, guys. <sighs> I feel like whenever you try to speak to this person, you feel like they're ignoring you. Two of Swords. They may send you some messages, okay, but they're blocked. And you see the blindfold over her eyes. She may not see these messages. It may go to a spam box. And I'm saying she, it could be a man. You could be a man. Or this may be a Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Two of Swords. But you see this Eight of Swords. Somebody's like, I was going to switch it. The messages are blocked. Okay, the messages are coming. Messages are blocked. So they go into another inbox. These messages are coming in really quickly, really fast. Okay, I feel like this person may be throwing fiery dots at you, but they're blocked. Or you're ignoring these messages. This could be voicemails. You're ignoring it. You're like, oh, well, whatever. Say what you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> uh, maybe a fire with air. Air with fire. Somebody's really indecisive. You don't know if you want to talk to this person. You're guarded. Nine of wands. Yeah, but the hangman <laughs> upright. You're not seeing it for what it is. I feel like your feelings here are conflicted. Five of Wands. You feel stuck. This may be a trauma bond. I'm not even going to lie to you, y'all. And trauma bonds are usually mistaken as love. But it's not. It's the trauma. Like. How can I explain it? Like you two feed off of each other's trauma. It's a trauma bond. I feel like. Maybe you guys have been questioning yourself. Like is this a real connection or is this? Because this person. I feel like you left them hanging. You left them on red. You're guarded. You're bruised. You don't trust them. You really don't want to talk to them. You don't want to hear what they have to say, but I feel like they're mad. They want to come in and, and, and they want to fight. They want to argue. That They feel like that's the only way they'll get your attention by fighting and arguing with you. You guys may have been fighting and arguing through court or through a legal situation. Okay? Yeah. There may have been some money that this person had to give to you. Like alimony. Some of you may be receiving that if you divorce this person. Or if you're thinking about divorcing this person, you may be thinking about alimony. Some of you may take it. Some of you don't even want it. But I see balance being restored in your energy here, in your life. I do see you calling for karmic justice because with the five of wands, it's like, damn, can't we just get along? Six of wands flip. They wanted your attention. Told you. They want to fight to get your attention. They feel like you give them some sort of praise or glory when they argue and fight with you. <clears throat> 
This person is like doing things that's unjust. You know, not playing by the book. Yeah, you walked away or you're walking away from this person. I feel like you guys have been looking for the truth here. But you know what the funny thing is? There's a tower moment coming in. And this is a good tower. I feel like you guys are going to be happy. I feel like you guys have something to celebrate here. <clears throat> I see you celebrating or being celebrated. Because it's like you shocked this person. They never expected you to walk away. They always thought that you would give them the attention that they wanted. They always thought that you would be right there. Because I do see sometimes you do look back at this person. You know, you do look back at the memories. You do look back, you know, at, you know, the children you had, the childhood. You know, you do look back if you grew up with this person. How much time you invested and spent with them. You know, in this soulmate connection. You know, how much love you tried to give to this person. And it's like you tried. And you can't give no more. You think about the sex. You think about the love. You think about everything. Some of you are still in love with this person, but there may be a third party and they're going through some chaos and destruction over there with somebody they got a kid with or they got kids with or the past was being revisited with the Six of Cups. This is your energy, Cancer. I feel like maybe you were... I do feel like someone here wants you to return to them and reconcile or this is how you feel. But if y'all do return to each other and reconcile, it's going to be a disaster with the tower. And this is something you really want to avoid. Because this person could be playing, preying on your downfall. This was a very unstable foundation. And I feel like you allowed this to crumble. Spirit has intervened and said no more. I'm tired of this. No, no. And they shook things up for your person. They caused chaos and destruction in your person's life. Your person has a lot of childhood trauma. And I feel like you guys may have some childhood trauma as well. Because the Six of Cups in the Tower. The Tower speaks about trauma. Six of Cups speaks about children or childhood. Right? So, that's why I'm saying this, you guys. Okay? The person that they're dealing with has childhood trauma. I mean, damn. <laughs> How is this going to play out? What's the outcome? What's the outcome for cancer and their person? What's the outcome for cancer and this person? What's the outcome? <laughs> Ooh, this is a good tower. I see the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This could mean so many things. But I'm going to just stick to love, you guys. I'm not going to try to go off topic. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see an opportunity being handed to you. And this is the hand of God handing you a brand new beginning. This is a brand new beginning. For uh, like a new job, a new home, a new car. This could be a large lump sum of money. This could be a new person who's coming into your life to bring in what they have to the table. Oh, and they have a lot to bring to the table. <laughs> and I feel like whoever this Taurus Virgo Capricorn is, they want to offer you something stable, solid, and committed. This person wants to spoil you. They want to invest in you. They want to be there for you. They, they, this person is loyal, very faithful, very wise. I feel like you've been waiting for a person like this, very stable. Well, this is you. 
becoming more stable, more grounded, more connected to the earth, setting more boundaries for yourself, you know, protecting your money, starting your business. You may be paying out a lot of money to start out a business. You may be putting in a lot of money to invest in a business. If you already have your business, I feel like a large lump sum of money is coming in or a, a, a opportunity for you to make a lot of money, for you to become financially stable, financially secure, or you already are. You're financially stable and financially secure. You have money coming in. Okay? But I feel like this person, they cause chaos, arguments, fights with you, you know, drama. Because they felt like they had a lot of power. They felt like they had a lot of money. And I feel like God is about to strike this person by lightning or they already have. And it has something to do with your person's finances here. They about to be stressed out, up all night, having headaches, can't eat and can't sleep because they're trying to balance out their finances. But you good. Your money's looking good. I see a lot of money here for y'all. I'm seeing you transfer money from one account to the next. I'm seeing someone here that's worried about their finances. You shouldn't be worried about money. I mean, look at all of this. You should not be worried. The Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. You shouldn't be worried about money. <laughs> you should not be worried about no money. But this person is stressed out. With the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They may contact you, reach out to you, ask you for your help. It may have something to do with finances. Ask you for your assistance. If this person is not calling you to ask you for help or assistance, they're wanting to reach out to you. They're wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to make some sort of an offer to you. It's very small. I feel like this person cannot offer you what you truly deserve, what you truly desire. And so I feel like you're rejecting it. You're pretty bored with this person with the Four of Cups. You're unhappy and discontent. Yeah. You left them out in the cold, Five of Pentacles. This person is, is, is not happy because they're going broke. They're losing money. They may lose their home or they just... This person's uh, karma could be bad luck. And it could have something to do with their finances. And this is because of all the things that they put you through. Who has this money? I feel like you may have like a son with this person and they're heartbroken. This is like very disappointing to somebody here. That they have a parent who acts like this. But I feel like you were very nurturing, caring, giving, and loving to this person. You tried to heal them. You tried to fix them. But you can't fix no uh nobody. You can't change nobody. So I feel like you've been waiting for this person to like become more emotionally stable. You know, maybe you thought therapy would help them. But it's not helping. This person is still fighting their demons. And only the Lord knows how long that's going to last. Because this person has some very unhealthy attachments. Like it's hard for them to let go of people. They have unhealthy attachments to people. Let's check out your love oracle. See what's over here. So you may be a brunette female or a brunette female is um, someone that you're focused on. Maybe someone with darker hair, green eyes, could be brown eyes. I feel like you're focused on a certain type of person. 
maybe you feel like you've been dating the same person. So I see you like focus on like a certain type. Um, somebody that would be a better fit for you. Um, somebody that matches your energy. Okay, or it's this person. Alright. You're more self-absorbed as you should. Okay, shining, <clears throat> being adored. <clears throat> I feel like some of you are performers here. You like to do musical plays or you like to watch them or you just may be a performer. But I feel like you're doing something different. You may be changing your hair color or changing the way you wear your hair, changing the style, maybe changing your clothes, changing the colors of the clothes that you wear, uh, maybe getting some new shoes, getting a new wardrobe, you know, looking your best, feeling good here. Okay, I feel like you guys, um, you guys want to get married again or, let's see, what is this? The cancer, what is this? What is this union? I felt this energy. I'm telling you, I felt it. You want to marry somebody new. You want new love. You want a partnership. But right now, you're focused on work. You're focused on work, your school, your schooling, your profession. Or you may meet this person at work, at your workplace, at a college, or through a profession that you do. Or they may see you at your workplace. Or through your college or profession you do. Or some type of work that you do. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys are working on leaving the past in the past. But there's a past lover from the past who's heartbroken. Okay. Yeah, they're heartbroken. I feel like they're talking about you. <laughs> This past lover is talking about you to their person or their neighbors or it may be a rumor about you or somebody heard a rumor about you or somebody's telling you something that they heard from this dark male. So this past person may be trying to come in to tell you something they heard from their neighbors or they heard something through the grapevine or this is just some gossip. This could be lies. Or you may be a dark male. Who's coming in towards cancer? This dark male. They want control over you. They're a control freak. That's their fucking problem. Yeah, they want to control you. Uh, could be through sex too. I do see you releasing this person, releasing control issues, taking back your power. I do see you um, taking back control of a situation that has lost control or this is something that you need to do. Because I feel like you're being stressed out. You're going back and forth with this person. You may have made a decision about this person that you keep going back and forth on. So I feel like you're conflicted right here within about something, about this situation. Because you still have like passionate feelings for this person who wants to control you, who wants control over you. They have some sort of hold over you. Okay. Let's see. But I feel like you guys are releasing that or you're learning uh, how to release that. You're mastering uh, your emotions here. So, you know, once you see this for what it truly is, I feel like it's not going to be hard for you to release this anymore. Yep, and there it go. There's too many obstacles, too many blockages, and you no longer want to move forward with this person and a connection and a marriage and nothing. You're ready to move on. You're ready to travel. You're ready to go places. You may be traveling. You may be moving. This new love may be traveling to see you. You may be at a distance from this new love. 
Okay, that could be an obstacle that the new love is at a distance from you. Some of you may hold back. Okay, because of the distance. There's, there's a lot of distance. And you feel <clears throat> there's a blockage. Hmm. You may feel like this person wouldn't want to commit, or you may want, or you may feel like they just want something very casual because of the distance. What does this new love really want? Because I saw the rings, so they want to propose or marry you someday. Like when you really get to know this person. Or it could be the person you were already with in the past. But yeah, it was short term. You may have a family with this person. Tell me uh, the outcome for the new love. Spirit guides. Then I'm going to let you guys go. Tell me the outcome. This is the longest cancer read I think I've ever done. I feel like you guys are going to keep your options open for now. I feel like you guys just want to have fun for right now. Okay, or well, it could be this person. You may try to take, you may, you may try to move really quickly with this new love, but try not to, guys. Try to take things slow. Unless it's being reciprocated. If they moving fast and you want to move fast, okay, that's working. Go ahead and do that. Yeah. Then there's no problems. There's no restriction. But if somebody wants to move slow and then somebody else is moving fast, that can cause a problem. That can cause a lot of friction. Oh, oh, there we go. You're letting this person go and you block their ass. You ain't telling them shit. You like, what? I ain't telling you shit. I ain't telling you the motherfucking thing. You know. Yeah, they got a big ego. They're operating from their ego. You're divine feminine, heart centered, loving, very intuitive. You ghosted this person. I told you, you don't want to. You've ended all communication. You're not calling them, you're not texting them, you're trying to avoid arguing with them. Because this person want to argue all the damn time. Alright? You, you, you're trying to be a ghost to this person, okay? And look, you're just trying to get into your religion, or you are very religious, or... I feel like there's a spiritual connection between the two of you, but look, fighting, arguing, self-sabotage. Yeah, you're trying to avoid this. Okay, your person is lazy... Like, they may love to work, but there's other things that they do. They cause more work for others. Yeah, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We talked about this air sign before. This air sign is very high key. They like to draw in a lot of attention. The soul contract, twin flame, karmic, or soulmate. Yeah, this person is fake. Two-faced it, using you for clout. Talking about you behind your back. Some of y'all know this person talks about y'all behind your back like a dog. And some of y'all don't know. How they being talked about? <laughs> Look, they think it's cute. They think it's funny. They do this on purpose. They do this on purpose. Okay, some of you, um, some of you, this person was draining your money. Okay, so if you were dealing with the narcissist, um, and you couldn't save money. Or there was always no money. Or money was always being spent. And you didn't know where the money was going. They were draining your um your money. Okay. Or draining the stability in the connection. It caused a lot of disappointment. A lot of sorrow. This person is a straight up trickster. And they stalking you. Yeah. Water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That is your reading, you guys. So, like I was getting ready to end this read. 
It's just like every time you get ready to end the connection, they call you again. My phone was interrupted by a call. And I felt like that was a message. You know, this person, they really bring a big distraction, interruption into your life. Um, I feel like you guys, you're going to be fine. I feel like you guys... Uh, are starting to see them for for who they are or you already are seeing them for who they are but it was very hard for some of you okay so that is your reading that is all the messages that I have for you for today that is all I have for you guys if you like this reading if you want to see me do more readings like this okay if it resonates okay hit that like button if you have not already subscribe to my channel if you have not already tarot with queen of wands 1111 leave a comment if you have not already share this video with your friends family your uncle your cousin your mother your sister your brother your, your kinfolk your granddaddy great grandmama auntie uncle you know the cat the dog the mouse in the corner that's trapped in, in the mouse trap you know give him you know let him know subscribe <laughs> yeah. i love you guys so 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 much until next time bye cancer i'll see y'all in the next reading